We're making a moist and delicious apple bread topped with a buttery oat crumble, pecans, and a sweet glaze. This quick bread is filled with fresh apples, cinnamon, and applesauce. And it can be made with a variety of flours, including gluten-free. Hello, my name is Nicole Bonilla, and if you love healthier recipes made with all natural ingredients, then you are in the right place. To make this bread, we're gonna start by prepping our bread pan. And I like to use a sheet of parchment paper because it makes it really easy for getting the bread out of the pan once it's baked. So I'm just gonna lay down my piece of parchment paper, put my pan on top, make a score line on both ends, then fold my paper square on both score lines, flip it over, press it into my pan, score the inside corners, fold it up and over on one side, and up and over on the other. And then I'll lightly spray the ends in particular with some nonstick. And then we can set this aside. I love this recipe because it is full of fresh apples inside the bread as well as on top. And you could use any variety of apple that you like. So we're gonna start by slicing up a large apple. So let's use my apple core to pull out the center. Now I want the little bites of apple inside the bread to be smaller because that makes it easier to slice through your bread. But then I want some really chunky apple pieces to go on top of the bread because they're really beautiful. So I'm gonna dice about a cup and a half of apples nice and small. I'll start by cutting it in half again, and then I'll just carefully make quarter inch slices, make quarter inch slices again, and then slice through the entire quarter. And we get these really cute little quarter inch cubes. Now that I have one and a half cups of my smaller diced apple, I'll go ahead and slice my remaining apple into the larger chunks. So I'm gonna cut these pieces about half an inch thick, and then we'll set these larger diced apples aside. And then to our bowl with our smaller diced apples, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of some coconut sugar, you can also use brown sugar if you like, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm just gonna stir it until all the apples are coated in the sugar and cinnamon mixture. And this will add delicious flavor as they bake inside the bread. And then we can set this aside. Now to make this easy bread batter, we're gonna start with a large mixing bowl. Now you are welcome to jot down these ingredients as we go along, or you can click on the link in the video description below, and that will take you to the recipe on my website with all the details. So we're gonna add half a cup of cane sugar, but you could use regular sugar. A fourth a cup of unsweetened applesauce. But you can use any variety that you like. A fourth a cup of light olive oil. You could also use avocado oil as another healthy option. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And two eggs. Now I'll just whisk these together until well combined. Now just on a side note, if you could use healthy inspiration and recipes on a regular basis, I invite you to join my Healthy Foodies community. Just click on the link in the video description below to join my email list so we can stay connected. Next we're going to add our dry ingredients and my favorite flour to use for these is oat flour. Now you can buy store-bought flour or you can very easily grind your own. All you have to do is take some old-fashioned oats or quick oats, put them into a blender or food processor for about maybe 20 seconds and you will instantly have a very fine oat flour. So I'm going to add two cups of oat flour and if you click on the recipe link I include measurements for using additional flour options. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we'll just whisk these together until well combined. And then we'll set this aside for a minute. To make the really easy crumble that goes on top of our bread, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of room temperature butter. And then we'll add a fourth a cup more of our oat flour, two tablespoons of cane sugar, fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll just simply mix this together with a fork. And then once all the flour is incorporated, we'll have this nice sticky little paste consistency. Now we can take our bread batter and then we'll mix in the apples that we tossed in our coconut sugar. And then we'll gently fold those in until well combined. And now we can scoop the batter down into our prepared bread pan and spread it out nice and even. And then we'll take our oat crumble and I find it works best to go ahead and just use your hands to kind of spread little plops of crumble all over the top of the bread. And the messier and chunkier it is, the better. And now that we've spread out the crumble, we'll go ahead and add our apples on top. Now, if you want to be a little more aesthetic, I can go ahead and place them with the red side facing up. Now this is optional, but you can also add a couple tablespoons of some chopped pecans. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle those right in between the apple slices. Now you could also use cashews or almonds or whatever you like, or just omit them completely. But I think they look extra beautiful and they add a delicious crunchy texture to the bread. Well, that looks gorgeous, and it is ready to go into a 350 degree oven for anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes, or until the top starts to turn a really light golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. 
Well, here's our baked apple bread that I took out of the oven and then I allowed to cool completely. And it is so beautiful. You can see how easily we can lift it right out of the pan with our parchment paper. Now you can enjoy your bread as is, or you can add this really easy glaze on top. So we're gonna start with half a cup of powdered sugar. Then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of milk. Then I'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla and a dash of cinnamon. Then I'll just whisk this together. And then we have this beautiful little glaze that we can just spoon right over the top of the bread. And I do not mind at all if it drips down the sides because I just think that makes it extra beautiful and tasty. Well, now we have this gorgeous apple bread and you can wait until that glaze sets or you can enjoy it right away if you're impatient like me. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece off the end. Oh, you can see how nice and soft that is. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. And we have all these gorgeous apple chunks down inside the bread as well as on top. And you can decide if you want to use a fork or go handheld. Mm. That is delicious. <laughs> As soon as you bite in, you get those delicious textures coming from the crunchy top and the pecans, and then you get that really smooth, soft bread, and you get the instant flavor coming in from the cinnamon, and then you get those sweet, tender apples that are so fresh and juicy and delicious. And because we made it with less sugar, it could be served as a special breakfast or a yummy snack or even a healthier dessert. And I love that it's made with clean, natural ingredients, which means I'm gonna feel just as good even after I eat it. And I want you to know that I believe in you and your ability to make and enjoy the healthy foods that are gonna leave you feeling fantastic from the inside out. And I'm here to support you in any way that I can. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my kitchen. And I've included a link to the full recipe and it's in the video description below. And it takes you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who you think would love this recipe, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.